So, hey guys, I am going to do a collection tour of my horses since I haven't done one in a while. And a lot of things have changed and stuff like that. So, I'm going to tell you their own names, not their uh, um, show names because I don't want people to steal them because half these horses are non qualified and I do not want them names to be still. And I do music playing, so yeah, you can ignore that. And then I'm going to say their, try to say their mold and then have me reproduce to them if I can remember to do that. And if they're a regular run or a limited edition or whatever. And I have fancy backgrounds, not really. These are just all of the things I've collected off the back of them. If you want to see a review on any of these horses in the collection, comment down below and I'll give you a review. If you have any other ideas for me to do videos, come down below. I'm probably going to do a ribbon tour here soon. So, yeah. Um, by the way, none of these guys are for sale or trade, so don't ask. And yeah, we'll get those started. And like I said, reviews on horses, let me know. So we'll start right here with my three Peter Sun chips. We have this regular run. Okay, not see him. So we have another regular run right here, the bay, right here. Then we have my limited edition one. This guy was only 10 made, I believe. He was a show prize model from a few years ago. So that is him. Okay, then these three are just OF horses besides Peter Stone chips. Of OF off brand horses besides Peter Stone chips. So we have a Shalik donkey, Shalik unicorn, and a Briar Stalemate foal, which came in the Fun Foals set. So then right here we got two customs. This custom was not done by me at all. And then this custom was done by me, and he was okay actually until he got sprayed with some finish and it actually melted the paint. So yeah, don't do that. No. So that is my mini collection. And then right here is one of my traditionals. This is Black Caviar. She came out of, um, I can't remember what year she came out in, but she is on the Ruffian mold. But she's just very long, and she's a regular one from a few years ago. So, yeah. So then, um, we're gonna start off with one of the main shelves. There's another main shelf over there. So starting off with my biggest conga. This is the, my um, Wixom conga. I have currently five in the, in the conga. We, I'm kind of uh, start laying low on the Wixoms because I need room for them first. I don't have room. Have one more one uh, horse right here. So we have Equinox. She is a 2002 QBC special run. So then we have my custom Wixom right here. She's a slightly re-sculpted Wixom. And she is a custom Nazwood by me. So then we got Versailles. She's a Bride Fest 2015 special run. Uh, about 1,500 of her made, I believe. So then right here we have the Fun Fools Red Road Mare. She is like a treasure hunt from 2009, I believe. If you got her, her if you got like a PC code from her and a PC code from her stallion, you sent that in and you got a full. So, yeah. So then right here we have a regular run. This is Khan, and, I, and all these guys are on the looks of mold, by the way, if you cannot tell. And yeah, this is a regular run from a few years ago. And these are in the orders how I got them. Besides these two, are supposed to be switched, but I like her in the end because she does not stand up very good, as you can see by her hoof. So then right here we have my two winter songs. We have Phoenix. He's a regular run from last year, I believe. Then we have Matt Fall, who is a... Um, Treasure Hunt from 2011, I believe. So then we have my three cigars. We have Sunday Talents. He was a regular run race day collection horse from a few years ago. Then we have Reflection Horse. He was a 2001 Toys R Us special run. Then we have Glossier Firm. I'm not quite sure what year he came out. But there's a thousand made of him in glossy form. So in here is my only Peterstone ch um, traditional. Uh, there's an unknown number of how many of him are made. There are... He was only made in 2001. So then we have Oropa. He is a 1998 special, 1998 special run. He is on the Hardenberry mold, and there's like 2,500 of him made, I believe. And on his stomach, he is signed by somebody. So that is him. Then we're gonna start on my foals. So right here, if they're a little focus, are my two Ashleys. We have the color crazy foal right here. I do not own the mare. We have the one of the Appaloosa twin foals. Then we have my two Jillins. We have Glossy Heartbreaker and Matt Heartbreaker. So right here, we have the, the standing stock horse mold. Is the overall paint uh, foal. Then right here in the Clydesdale foal mold is the Clydesdale foal. Re uh, regular run, regular run. 
regular run, one of six sets are glossy of him, regular run, and semi-regular run. She was kind of a limited edition, hard to find, who know. So then we have Quick Step right here. She's on the Scratching Full Mold, just a regular run from a few years ago. So then right here we have a like, Custom Amber. And then we have uh, Appaloosa Twin Full that came with the other Ashley down here. She's a regular run. Then we have Twilight, who was a regular run from a few years ago. He is on the uh, trotting full mold or running full mold. So then we have my three classics. This is the only mold I think I kind of know. Um, on the others, I'm I'm not an expert on the classics at all. So we have Luna. It's Luna with ERS on her box, but yeah, she's my only classic full. And then we have the classic half winner, which is on the Gretel mold, I believe. Then we have El Punto, which is, uh, I don't know his mold, I actually don't know. But El Punto and Luna came in a set. So in this corner right here, we have the overall pink mare, a regular run. Then we have Sosalina, she is a 2015 limited edition mid size horse. And she is actually the Swishtail version. And then the overall paint mare is a long tail version. I do not own any short tail version. Uh, both of these guys are on the Lady Phase mold. So we have my two smart chicks. We have Bitchix to Cash, who's a regular run from a few years ago. Then we have Top Soul Rainmaker, also a regular run from a few years ago. Then we have a Clydesdale mare, she's a regular run from a few years ago. She's on Clydesdale mare mold. Then we have my two Appaloosa Indium. This is actually the only traditional, traditional mold. I'm not quite sure what to call it. We have the original, um... Appaloosa Indian Pony. Then we have the War Paint Appaloosa Indian Pony. He is a little more rare and hard to find, harder to find version of, him, of this guy. We have Abby Day. She's on the Hackney Pony mold. Um, she is a 2000 Brightfest 2006 special run, about 1,600 for made, I believe. We have Smoking Double Dutch. She is on the um. I can't remember her her mold name at all for the life of me. She's a regular run from a few years ago. Uh, or from actually last year, I believe. Sorry, um, I cannot remember her uh, name for the life of me. I'm sorry, guys. And then we have the Western, the Retro Western Pony. Uh, she was re-released a few years ago, and again, I think she's on the Western Horse Bowl. So then we have four of my flagship models. We have Icicle. He's on the Bouncer Mold. He was from 2013, and the only reason I know that is because it says on his stomach. These other three, I don't know, know what year they came out, and I kind of lost track because I did not get them order. After a layer, after he came out, I kind of got mixed up because I got him after, and then I got Icicle Kiwi. So I'm sorry, guys, but I do not know what these other three years that they came out in. But this is Icicle. He came out in 2013. He's a flagship model from 2013. So then we have Hilarious, and oh, he's on the bottom mold. And then we have Hilarious, and he's on the Desitato mold. Um, again, I'm not quite sure what year he came out in. I want to say 2014, but I could be wrong. Then we have Lionheart, he is a flagship model as well on the East Spirit mold. I'm sorry if I'm saying that mold wrong. So then we have my two uh, Edicuses, we have YPD, he is a flagship model. I'm sorry, I don't know what year he came out. I want to say 2012, but I could be wrong. Then we have Snowman, he's a regular run from a few years ago, uh, both on the Atticus mold. Then we have Skullduggery, he is on the Silver mold, and he's a Halloween special run, about 4,000 of him made. And then we have... Starlight, he is from the Saddle Club series. He's on the Flash Mold. Not quite sure what year he came out in. Then we have my two GGs. Um, glossy GG is the same with Glossy Heartbreaker. They both came in a set. Uh, the gloss the Heartbreakers came in GG and Bell and Heartbreaker in a set. The Glossy GGs, like I said, one thousand or one is six sets are glossy. And then Matt GG is just a, just a regular run. So then we have my two Make-A-Wishes. We have Smoke. She's a JCPenney special run from 2011. She came with this mirrors right here. And then we have OT Ceremony. She was a regular run from either last year or the year before that. I cannot remember. Then we have my two Big Bens. We have RFC and Pinocle Ride. A regular run from a few years ago. And then we have Gath Gathering Storm. He's also a Collector's Choice from 2011. Then we have my mirror. She came with this smoke right here, a JC Penny special run on the Gothard mold. Then we have Little Ricky Rocker. He's a regular one from a few years ago on the Zippo Pine Bar mold. We have Secession. She's on the Secession mold. She came out. She's a regular one from a few years ago, like a, like 2001, I want to say. Then we have the Pink Press Cancel Horse right here from 2010 on the Andalusian mold.
I'll give you an overview of my whole entire collection. There are any horses in this collection you want to see the review, comment down below and I will do it. If there is any video ideas you want me to do, comment down below. I will not do barn tours, um, series, etc. because I do show these guys. So if you want to see my all the ribbons these guys have written one, comment down below and I will do that video. So again, none of these horses for sale. So if you have any questions, ask, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye, I'll see you in my next video.